Morning, Coach. Good morning. How are you? Good morning, guys. Thanks for having me on. A little hoarse, but, yes. you know, that's normal <laughs> down here. <laughs> Last night was good. Last Sounds night like was somebody's good, Somebody's at the piano bar. <laughs> um, and look, I, and I was telling about the, 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 the entire – it feels like the entire community, there's a great picture that came last night from the piano bar of Joe's former teammates – from Athens High School of, of came down, and I think you looked at me in the picture and said, that looks like the entire offense um, <laughs> in that picture. I mean, like, everybody's excited uh, about, about today. Well, it was, it was great to, that Joe's teammates, many of them came, uh, some with their, with their, with their moms and, and dads, and so that, that was a great time. And then you sprinkle in my family and, and my newfound uh, LSU friends, and, and it, was, it was a lot of fun. Uh, some of those guys from uh, uh, Athens and the Plains, I don't think they even have tickets. So they're just hoping that maybe uh, they can hook one up at some point. But uh, they're, they're fired up to be here. Coach, you and I have talked about this. We talked about it again last night. Um, this is Joe's dream, right? I mean, like from his yeah. childhood, this is what he's dreamed about in playing in this game. You talked to him last night. Um can this moment be too big for him? How, how do you how do you think he handles this moment because of how much he's talked about having the opportunity to do what he's going to accomplish or or have a chance to accomplish tonight? Well, yeah, that's that's been his goal. That's that's all the awards are, are great, and uh, uh, he appreciates it. He, he knows those are team awards, but this is the ultimate uh, team award uh, tonight, and and uh, that's what he's been shooting for. So. Uh, my understanding from just talking to the people that's been around Joe this week and practice, and it's uh, kind of business as usual uh, as, as far as their preparation. And uh, no, I, I don't think it's too too big for Joe and, and his teammates. Uh, just just visiting with Joe briefly, he cut me off about 48 hours ago, so uh, I can't give you any <laughs> updates. Uh, but uh, he was confident. You know, he was. Uh, uh, obviously, uh, uh, looking at a lot of film, not knowing uh, that there's going to be a lot of different looks. But, you know, there's been different looks uh, for 14 games, really, uh, going going back to the first game. They, I think Georgia Southern even showed them things they hadn't seen the year before. So um, it's just part of it. He's excited, but he's confident. As a coach for your team playing in big games, I know we've asked you this with LSU playing in a couple over the last couple of weeks, but this one bigger than any one they've played in all season long. How do you manage emotions? How do you coach to the point of managing emotions with your team? Well, that's a you know, that's a tough question, and and uh, you know the, the the great head coaches uh, that that do it consistently have, have found a way to to do that. I, I think you. You, you try to you try to be excited, but you gotta you know understand that your your lead is 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 how your team is going to react. And if you're overly pumped up or, or if you're different than than during those other fourteen games, then they're they're going to get a feel for that. So yeah. uh, I'm sure Coach O and the staff are just trying to uh, replicate everything they've done uh, uh, every every week, uh, starting starting with Georgia Southern. So uh, you know that's that's how I'd, I would approach it, and I'm, I'm sure that's that's what they're trying to get done. Yeah, we, we said it earlier. I think routine is your friend on a day like today. Um, Coach, we also had we, – we, in, in a segment earlier, we were talking about Joe and kind of his, his stoicism, right, how it seems like nothing really – he seems infl- unflappable. His jaws always set. Eyes just got that kind of cold stare. Doesn't matter the moment. Uh, has, has he always been this way? Like, is that something that you're just born with? Well, he's just always been very competitive. So I, I don't know again if that's just uh, you know growing up and, and watching so many uh, football games and, and and playing in other other sports, but always been competitive, always wanted to win. And, and uh, you know, if, if that's the case, then uh, I, I think that does keep you in in that kind of frame of mind that you see see Joe in. But uh, uh, he he's it, it's different as as he approaches. A game time, I, I believe, and the closer it gets to the game, then the the more reserved he is, and and the more he's he's kind of locked in. Coach, uh, well, I guess I'm I'm, I'm going to ask for the a dad question here. Uh, we've we've, <laughs> we've been on this journey. We talk to you every week, all year long. I remember talking about nerves, like going into the Texas game and stuff. Uh, where are the nerves at today? 
with with you know here at the 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 ultimate stage well you know i didn't i didn't uh, say that the dad has to keep the same emotions as he did for 14 <laughs> years uh, so it's, it's a little it's a little more uh amped up today with just knowing that uh you know the the journey is 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 coming to an end and you know joe, joe he loves college football and and we we do as a as a family and it's it's been a great ride for us, so we're kind of sad uh, that it's uh, that it's coming to an end. Yeah. And then, yeah, the, the national championship game ma- makes it even more uh, uh, nervous, I think, for parents. And and uh, you know, I, I'd be I'd be lying if I said uh, this is a, in the old same old day for for us. That's for sure. No, we, we we were talking this morning. I was on with a hit in Atlanta and, and was saying for LSU fans, um, th- this this is a day that you'll always remember. Because this is his final game. I mean, the, the the status of the legend that you've seen in 2019 of Joe Burrow, he will trot out one more time. And anybody that has the chance to be in the Dome tonight, watching it in your living room, watching it at a watch party, you'll always remember this one because um, this is as good and as special as it gets. Coach, as a defensive mind, how do you anticipate they defend him tonight, defend this LSU offense? I mean, I, I'd imagine that you've had a chance to think about that when, when you yeah. watch this Clemson defense. Do you have a – a thought on how they might approach this offense? Well, watch the Ohio State game. Uh, uh, I, I went back and watched it uh, uh, on my iPad. And, uh, you, you know, they, they do different things. And if something's not working, then, then they're going to change. Against Ohio State, a four-man front wasn't working. And all of a sudden, they're in there. Uh, it looked to me like a, a nickel or dime package with a three-man front. So, uh, you know, they're going to try to change things, change things up. But I, as a coach, you always have to be careful that uh, you don't overthink the situation with with a big game and two weeks ahead of time. So, uh, you know that's that's what the the coach's challenge is: is to do different things yet still be based in in your foundation and your scheme that you actually uh, believe in. But um, you know, we'll know right away. I think that the, the blitz uh, and take the blitz uh, thoughts. Uh, on Venables and their staff, I mean, they'll come out and you're going to show your hand fairly early. It's not like, hey, let's 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 wait and see what happens. Right. It's usually here's our game plan. If it's blitzing, they'll they'll get after us early. If if it's drop eight, you'll see that. Yeah. Uh, or if they're just playing coverage and mixing that up, you'll, you'll know that after the first two or three series. So I, I asked the last question to Dad Burrow. Now I want to talk to Coach Burrow uh, in your defensive <laughs> mind. When you see this Clemson offense, uh, kind of—I mean, what makes them so hard to nail down? And and maybe like where where do you think? Uh, how would you maybe game plan to try to stop this offense? Well, they got weapons just like just like we do. I mean, they can run the ball. Uh, certainly, can throw the ball. They got uh, first round draft picks. Uh, got all of their skill positions and and. So you you have to stop the run. You, you can't let uh, ADN and and uh, Trevor Lawrence uh, get get off to a great start running the football. So you know, to to me as the defensive coordinator, I'm a I'm gonna get the extra guy in the box and let's let's take one uh, facet of their game away early and and then and then react and and uh, adjust uh, to, to what what they're doing. But uh, got to stop the run and and then you, you try to prevent explosive plays. Now that not as easy it sounds uh, against somebody as explosive as, as Clemson, but that's kind of our, what I've always done is, you know, you stop the run, you, you try to uh, limit explosive plays, run and pass, and, and then you try to try to create turnovers, all three, very hard to do against Clemson. We're approaching eight hours until kickoff. How do you manage your nerves today? What's the schedule look like? <laughs> well, I'm just drinking coffee and, and uh, you know, I've, I've probably had about enough of watching all the the, the, the talking uh, people on TV. Yeah. So I, I may I may just uh, turn it and watch a little basketball. And we got a, a couple of functions that we need to get to. We still got uh, family that, that we like to be around. So uh, uh, you know, we're we're going to just kind of take our time and and move move in the direction of the Superdome uh, fairly early because of, of of the you know the fact the president I think is going to be there and. And uh, it was a madhouse in Alabama, so I can expect today what it is for us as parents. You know, we we basically stand in line and, and have to go through LSU compliance to get our tickets. So 
you just never know how long that's going to take. So we're going to be there. I like watching Joe warm up, and for the last time, I definitely want to be there. Did I hear through the Athens chatter last night that President Trump made a request to meet the Burroughs? I don't know about that. So <laughs> I, I'm hoping that yeah. that would be great. Yeah, that'd be good. Uh, but uh, you know, we'll see. I, I'll tell you. I'll talk about that to you if it happens. What a, what a cool day! Yeah, because I'm tracking you down tomorrow morning at eight o'clock. If I got to do radio, what? I'm calling you too, man. <laughs> uh, at some point, I'm gonna get you. Uh, hey, my 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 ringer is gonna be off, my friend. <laughs> so uh, you'll have to come find me. This is an <laughs> enormous day for LSU football. Your son is at the centerpiece of it, and he's driving the ship. It's been a magical year, Jimmy. Thank you for uh, for everything. Yeah, and, for everything, uh, man. Enjoy the day, and uh, let's go get it, man. All right, one more to go, and and uh, let's let's get it done. Finish strong. Yes, sir. Yeah, I'll see you around today. The there he is, Coach Jimmy Burrow, checking in as he's in New Orleans.